Greetings. Thanks for coming back to us. Uh, today I'm making some homemade burgers with some potato wedges, uh, some sweet chilli jam and crispy onions. So if you want to come over to the mixer, um, basically it's what I've got in the freezer. I've got some um, wild boar uh, in the freezer, so it's like pork. You can use chicken, you can use mince, you can use your minced beef, minced lamb, um, minced turkey if you wanted to. So uh, this is my uptake on it. So I've got um, some strips of um, wild boar belly pork in here. I've got some onions, I've got some uh, garlic salt, I've got some black pepper. So basically I'm going to whisk them together and blend them together. You can see it's all mincing up now, really nice. I'm going to crack an egg in, that's just to help it bind. I've got a bit of sage and a special little treat today as it's Sunday. We've got some lovely truffle in. Truffle with pork, lovely. Just going to drizzle a little bit in. A few drops, very strong. Give another blend. Another 20 seconds. And there we go. We have the mixture already made. Oh, wicked. So, just going to wash my hands. Obviously, using raw meat, be very, very, uh, you know, conscious. I've got some lovely soap here, donated by my friend Adam Godley. Made some soap for me, antibacteria. Lived in the village of Overy. Cheers, Anna. Uh, give them a good wash. So basically, I'm just going to divide this now. I've actually noticed just a little bit, it's a little bit loose. So, what we could do is uh, wasn't planned. Uh, incorporate a little bit of flour into it um, to uh, give it a mix. So um, obviously we don't want it too sloppy. So a little bit of flour just to bind the meat together, give it a bit of texture. together. Uh, if you haven't got flour, um, you could use breadcrumbs. I haven't got any breadcrumbs today. Um, obviously the bread that I made the other day, we've gone all through that. We've only got um, some fruit bread left, so I <laughs> wouldn't really go with that. There we go. Now that's binding up. You can see now it's a bit more compound. Back to the board. Some people might have presses, you could do that. I haven't got one, so I'll just do it for them by hand, make them look quite authentic and homemade. Give my hands another wash again. So you've got your hands nice and wet, quite good to them, just to mould them. As you can see there, two nice homemade wild boar burgers. Uh, I'm going to cook those on the barbecue today. Um, 
obviously um, they'll probably take about 15 20 minutes I've got some homemade chili jam here we made last year at the garden um, we grow some chilies and everything so that's a preserve from last year and I said I'm going to do some crispy onions so basically what I've done I've sliced an onion sidewards I'm going to put them into the milk best to leave them in there for about five minutes let them soak up a little bit of the milk yeah it's a bit of a chefy thing right and then what we want to do is transfer them into the corn flour coat them in the corn flour I've got a pan here in the back, be very careful when doing this. If you've got a chip pack fire, even brilliant, better to use that. Um, I haven't at the moment. So I've got some flour, some oil there. I'm going to put them on the back of the cooker on a really steady heat. Let it come up to temperature, probably about 180, no more than that. Um, and then I'm going to put the onions out of the corn flour into the oil and um, fry them in there. They'll go really lovely and crunchy and have a good, nice texture on top of your burger. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Well, come back to me on part two and I'll show you the finished product. Thanks for watching.